Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. 8 o'clock in the morning, it's a uh, nice crisp Friday morning. It's uh, cold, see if it starts. It's nice when your car starts first time, isn't it? I think gone at days when I used to smoke about in a Vauxhall Cavalier. There's cars with problems when I was a teenager. Uh, oh, isn't it? Uh, what can I say? It's uh, one of them days, isn't it? Uh, not sure, not really sure what to talk about. Uh, put these nonce glasses on, like a nonce in these. Couldn't get lenses any thicker. Should have paid an extra 20 quid and hadn't thin that. Easy to work in. an aircon on here. I don't know what I'm doing, do I? Oh, well, that's what I wanted to do. Put these on. Magic keys. When you're going for note, you can put three on at a time, can't you? Uh, I notice uh, it's a new year and uh, it's the same old, same old, isn't it? In boxing, I suppose uh, the same old rubbish that's out there, isn't there? Isn't there? Bean, Bean out. It's a new year and I'm still on your case, Bean. So hand yourself in. It's a fair cop, Gov. Hand yourself in, Bean. You know it makes sense. But, uh, you need to hang yourself in. Shout out to Stephen Davy, Plymouth. How are we doing, Stephen? I hope this time next year you're still here, pal. Not nice having cancer. Not that I've had it, but I've had just about everything else. I've been paying blood lately. Don't drink enough water, do I? So I've been told. So I've been very well. I nearly had an heart attack. Uh, if I'm not sick, with blood on the end of it, I'm peeing it. Maybe I'm dying. Who knows? But doctor said I've got to drink four liters a day for a week. Take these tablets and then uh, three liters a day for the rest of my life, which is six, six 500 bottles a day, innit? How do people drink six litres a day? So I says, well, if you drink lager, does that count? He says, no, because bacteria or something, apparently the bacteria, you make it worse if you drink lager. you still got to drink it, and you can drink lager, but you still got to do your three litres. So I'm in bits. I feel bloated all the time drinking water. I haven't been drinking four a day, I've had one and a half a day, but it's a start, isn't it? It's a start. I was thinking, uh, as I got up this morning, whether they're going to bring Prize Fighter back. I don't know, but the big news, I suppose, is... Come on, get in your lane. The big news yesterday is Josh Taylor, isn't it? She wasn't bad in that Mini convertible. Oh, she's stalking me! Stalking me! So I slow down. And we've got, we've got a chick following me in a minute. Look at that. Unless it's old Bill. I ain't got time to wait for minutes. I've got graft to do. Got an appointment today with a company called Limitless. Doncaster. They do web, website design and stuff like that. So... We're gonna see what they think about the channel, see if they can help me. We'll throw a few quid at it, jazz it up a bit. You can go a bit stale, can't you, coming out with the same thing? Somebody says, hey, oh, keep going on about matrim all the time, Russ. It's getting a bit boring. You're probably right, even my kids are like, oh god, not Eddie Hearn, Dad. This is getting a bit boring, but what can I do, right? Eddie Hearn has got 12 of the top 25 box wreck heavyweights. So, Eddie Hearn is 
He's got half at top 25, hasn't he? Now, and, he's, and the half he's got is trying to make fights with other half or sign him, so how can you not talk about him? He did 164 interviews on YouTube last week alone. Normally he does about 2.30. That's, what, 11,600 a year? Now, when you've got a man doing that many interviews and you've got Frank Warren, he didn't do 270 all year. What's all that about? What is all that about, eh? It's all there, all statistics, I'm a stat man. Eddie puts the graft in, but I don't call it graft. I call graft shovel work. Picking taties in a tatey field or a cabbage field in jail or even on a working on a building site. That's graft. Not stood talking into a camera. It's like this what I'm doing now, right? I'm fortunate now, aren't I? Uh, that I'm, well, let's just say I'm a little bit fortunate at the moment. I get up in the morning and I feel blessed because I'm not doing porridge. I'm getting a nice car, I've got an office. The channel's paying for its sense, so I feel blessed. Oh, or we can go down the other route, can't we? Chasing loads of money and putting yourself on offer. Nah, not for me. I like boxing too much, don't I? And I'm not going to give certain people satisfaction of saying, he messed up, didn't he? I told you. I told you, didn't I? He's back on gear. He's back on gear and he's knocking her out with people on gear. No, I'm not going to give people satisfaction. But I've got to put the graft in, haven't I? And I haven't really, to be honest with you, I haven't really tried, have I? I've played at Game Man for a couple of years. First year, didn't really bother. This last year, you could say half, half. I could put more effort in, I could be smarter with my time. Now I've got a, now I've got uh, every movie channel that there is in the world on me telly at home. God, I can't get no done. I can't get anything done. I'm just laid there like some dosser. Like some old dosser. We old remotes in me hand. It's not good, is it? Gotta get out there. It's like AJ said to me the other day. You've got to take your son out of your comfort zone. If you're in your comfort zone, you're in your bedroom all day, aren't you, like me? It's not good, is it? What's the point of people giving me an office and I'm not going to use it? It's like, I drove people mad, didn't I? And then I get what I want and then I don't put effort in. I should be embarrassed, you know? I've got to put more effort in, I think. It's always saying you want to do it. It don't come to you on a plate, does it? You know what I mean? Sorry. Yeah, when I'm here, I do put effort in. It's sometimes it's getting motivated, isn't it? Battling that many fucking demons. What is he doing here, Joe? Joe? Well, I can't call him Joe Ninety. Fred Thirty. He's doing thirty, isn't it? Anybody doing thirty now? We're going to call him Fred Thirty. Get him there jogging. I know him. Stronger, faster than a speeding bullet. Well. Shout out to all you hardcore boxing fans who've been tuning in. It's nice to know that people still watch it, channel. The other, my backlog, my catalog, shall I say. We don't put no videos out for five, six days. Still doing uh, as good numbers, that's strange that. So they must be going on catalog, on my back catalog, eh? I'm getting like, in ITV, aren't I? No. Touch wood, no court cases, no speeding tickets pending, no parking tickets, no flat tyres, no note. We've got an appointment today though, 11 o'clock, so we've got 2 hours 45 minutes to get some filming done. Look at these here bin men. Look at that. Every time I go by them, do you know what I shout? I shout, dickheads! Do you know why? Do you know why I call dustbin men dickheads? I ain't got no against being a bin man. I'd be a bin man if I had, if I had no choice. But they just park where they want, don't they? 
So I feel that when I drive by, if I can shout that, I feel a lot better about myself in the day. Because I always feel like I'm stuck behind them. Or I have to go out my way to get by them. They're not bothered, it's their wagon, isn't it? So I feel like if I shout dickheads to them, I'll not be getting paid, not be getting paid me 70 pence for this video now, I've just said that. Dickheads! There you go, I've got my dickheads worth, but I just feel that dustbin man, they just get it way, don't they? So I've got a few ideas bubbling around in my pea brain. And I've been thinking that maybe boxing's not the be and end all, is it? You know, if I can let me put a light on here, I like to see my Senate camera. Maybe that if I can do videos on other stuff. Send me some ideas what you'd like to hear. I don't want to be like Ingram Jones on Bay Loric TV uh, because I, I don't think I could do what he does. He's got about five different channels. I'm still going to call it Porky's Corner, but it don't, every video doesn't have to be about boxing, does it? There'll be boxing videos out there. I'm looking at doing different things. I'd like to give an opinion on all sorts of things because I'm very opinionated. I've done a video on prison population, and I? When I first went to prison in 91, was that old Bill at my house? Okay. I always get panicky if there's a Volvo at my house, a white, especially a white one. Is it? No. Uh, especially about prison population, right? When I first started doing porridge, there were about I'm 20 year old on my second sentence, right? About 19 months. And there were, I remember a screw, Mr. A Caster, at all prison in when I were a YP and all. And he said to me, about 37,000 or something, but the government won't be in forthcoming with the numbers. So I thought, 37,000 in 91. So now there's like 90 odd thousand, isn't there? So it's nearly tripled. So something is not working, isn't it? What's not working? Well, for starters, they're bringing all these foreigners over and we can't cope with them, can we? Schools, NHS, prisons, court systems, the lot. I can't get my kids into school, I want to get them in. We've got to do two trips. Do you know what I mean? Two trips. It's not good. We've got to do, what, a 16, 32 a mile a day, is it? 32? Or just under? What's all that about? You can't get your kids in at school, you want to get them in. Prison population, they're putting people, they're tripling double cells up in donkey trials. Well, them double cells in donkey trials that they're tripling up, when it opened in 94, the summer of 94, they were single cells. Well, look at Armley Prison, it's been condemned every year since 1964. Something like that. So why is it open? They're just going to keep signing off on it, aren't they? Do you know what I mean? It's no wonder people are hanging the sense and stuff like that. I'm all for people being punished if they're doing if they're doing bad stuff, but in bad conditions, it's not good, is it? You could have someone that's not paid his poll tax doing jail in the same conditions as some nonce. All wrong, isn't it? See why Dennis is only here two months a year now. He does right, doesn't he? Uh, you like Kev? He's never here, is he? That must be what you do, innit, when you get poked up. You just don't want to be here. It's a toilet, innit? England's a toilet. Even rich people don't want to be here, do they? It's a toilet. She were alright. Yeah, I've had it washed yesterday, sweetheart. But, yeah, it's, uh, so I haven't decided what I'm going to do yet, but I'll keep you all entertained. If people don't want to watch the other videos that I'm going to do, you don't have to watch them, I'm not bending anybody's arm, but I think football's a good topic to talk about. Kev's ex-footballer, might be able to get me a few interviews. Billy Whitehurst, has anybody ever heard of Billy Whitehurst, the footballer? He used to live near me.
Are you warming that coat? Yeah. Are you warming that coat? <laughs> Laughing. Uh, Billy White, she used to play for Sheffield United, Donny Rovers, Newcastle. I might get him on channel, it's supposed to be really, it's supposed to be hard. I've seen him a couple of times, he got in Bucky's when I used to live in Edlow. So that's Billy White, he's down there. He's rock hard. I'll tell you a story about v Billy White, shall I? It's a true story, this. When Vinnie Jones, Kev told me this story the other day, when Vinnie Jones signed for Sheffield United, he was strutting about, wasn't he? I think he had a BMW at the time. So he's strutting about, and uh, obviously he signed on good money and all that. And at, at football clubs, they have like a top boy, don't they? Team and that, who's, who, who basically runs the club. You know, like Stuart Pearce at Forest, Roy Keane at Man United, you know, there's a top boy. Vinnie Jones has been signed, hasn't he, and blah de blah. So Billy White says, uh, oh, you need to move your car, get his keys. So he shut off in his car, because it were blocking something in car park or something. He shot off in Vinnie Jones's flash beamer, and he's bounced it off loads of walls, up near where United train. And it were all smashed to bits. Now, this is a true story, this. And he's took the car back to into into dressing room, and he's and everybody's he's pulled it at car park. People are filtering out and blah blah. blah. Vinny's getting the rest of his clothes in the dressing room. He's gonna have Vinny. Vinny's gone outside and gone. <gasps> well, for the first week and a half or so, there Vinny were putting himself about. So Billy's done that as if to say, "What are you gonna do now, Vinny?" Typical shit house in Watford. What did he do? He didn't do nothing. He didn't do nothing. He didn't do nothing, so there you go. Now you gotta give him respect, aren't you, Billy, for that, but I'll tell you what, I won't like to think how we're gonna borrow Billy White as my car being bits, I'll be like that. <coughs> be squealing like a pig. And the Billy White as your car. He does that to it. Oh my god. Vinnie Jones didn't do no, big hard Vinnie Jones, big tough guy, big tough guy from Watford. Registration on that car for me today, is it? But other than that, I'm all right, I'm, uh, I'm gonna have a good day today. I'm in a good mood. You've got a feeling mood. It's like I was talking to somebody who's a proper gym head. He goes gym every day like I got gym, I'm a bodybuilder. Oh dear. Yeah, I got gym. I eat chicken in the middle at night every two hours. Alright. No wonder your last left, yeah. Well, he got he says to me, if you don't feel like doing a video poke, you just go home sometimes. And you know what? Instead of hanging about and putting crap out, just don't do it. You've got to be in mood, haven't you? Because what I'm doing here, it's all in here, isn't it? It's all brain work, isn't it? There's a lot to take in, isn't there? I mean, a lot to pay out today with them. You see, I should have really learned how to edit and do stuff all that, but do you know what? The computers do my head in. So we're going to get over there, so we're going to jazz it up a bit. I don't care about it. You know they're common as muck aren't they now Range Rovers? Common as muck. But it is what it is isn't it, it is what it isn't. Hey did you see them IFL interviews with uh, Eduardo and Cala Sourland and all that. Hmm. <laughs> hey. They just don't ask them questions that they should be asking them, should they? Why don't they ask Cala Sourland? What Eddie Earns cut what with WBSS tournament? Why don't they ask him what his cut was? They didn't want to ask him, did they? How, how Sky and Eddie Earn were, uh, were hammering that tournament and then all of a sudden they jumped in on it jumped in on it didn't they and wanted a big slice of pie and they kept they left him hanging didn't they Cal they messed him about 
Sky and Matchroom tret Kalasaulan, and I like Kalasaulan, but they tret him like a dog. Messed him about. Messed it up, do you know why? Because it wasn't their tournament, was it? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Well, gates might have been shut. Woo, what are you? Big pork is here. <laughs> Porky at large. Right. So, we're going to raid up to the. I'm going to reverse up. I'm going to reverse. I'm going to stick a few pictures up today. Have a look at that. Yeah, there's a few things happening today, I'm afraid. It's all good positive stuff. See that? I could have bought that. All of them five for fucking tent at gallon. Hey, Frightened me to death as well. I nearly binned it. I won't be able to handle it like that, I'm a diesel man. Let me remap. Hang on a minute. See where I'm going. Oh. I don't want to get too close. Do. So it's all good positive stuff. Put them glasses in there. Get that out there because I need that when I come back out later. That's for bin. Uh, other than that, I'm okay. I'm okay. Uh, I did jot a few things down I wanted to talk about, so I'll have, before I go in, I'll finish off on this video. Have a uh, see how long that was. Only seven minutes. Might be time to go then. It do it's time to go in then. Boom! What do you reckon? We're up at today. So peace out, keep on trucking, keep supporting boxing. For those of you that have not subscribed, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. For those of you that have, thank you very much. Uh boom boom. You get your porky fix straight to your phone. So, alright. Shout out to Innovation Alloys, South Yorkshire Packaging Services. And one more little sponsor that I can't tell you about. Because people start sending emails to me sponsors telling them I've been in Nick and that. I mean, you know. I must have some right funny people that follow me. Well, it's not that funny, is it? But luckily, you know, I'm pretty open and truthful when I start doing business with people. And I'll tell them straight. If you're straight with people, you're not tired, have you? So, alright, thanks for tuning in. Uh, we'll crack on with some more videos. It's only. Uh, time is it? 8 8.30 I keep using these but I keep end up people keep pestering me for them but we're not selling anymore we're not doing anymore not yet anyway so I'm not about merch merchandise we're not not going to do that I don't think not yet we're not that desperate for it but alright so we'll get some more videos done Thanks for tuning in. Oh, people keep asking me about this hat, right? This hat is an old one of Ryan Rhodes' business. You remember it? Pow, uh, Pow UK Limited. It went uh, pelly up, didn't it? But I like Ryan, so I'm flying flag for Ryan because I like him. All right, peace out.